The game of darts dates back to the Middle Ages, when English soldiers, looking for some fun, began pitching arrows at the bottom of an empty barrel. When winter came, the soldiers moved their game indoors, but they couldn't throw big arrows around inside, so they used shortened versions, and the game was on. With these little missiles, you can give this game your best shot. They start by making the flight shafts. That's the piece that the dart's wings are attached to. They load 3-meter aluminum rods into a machine that has several cutting tools. The tools work from many angles on one aluminum rod at a time. They shape the rod into dozens of shafts. The tools cut threads and hollow out one end of each shaft to allow it to be screwed onto the dart barrel later. A cross saw cuts slots in the other end for attaching the wings. Oil flushes away the shavings and it also keeps the tooling cool so it stays sharp enough to cut through metal. The completed shafts fall into a bin to await further assembly. Next, they load brass rods into a similar machine. Its tooling carves the brass rod into barrels. That's the main part of the dart that you grip. They thread and taper one end to allow the shaft to be screwed onto it. The tapering also makes the dart aerodynamic. Next, tools with angled grooves cut ridges on the outside of the barrel to make the dart easier to grip. The process is called knurling. Another tool then cuts the brass barrel to the correct length. They also make dart barrels from tungsten, which is quite dense, so the barrels can be cut slimmer. Slimmer darts can give you an advantage in tight scoring situations. It's why the pros often prefer tungsten darts and have them custom made, even choosing their own knurl grip. These are knurling wheels. It's another way to etch the grip pattern into the dart barrels. Knurling wheels come in an assortment of patterns, all designed to help you keep a grip on your game. And now, production takes a very sharp turn. They force a pointed steel tip into the hollowed end of the dart barrel using a hydraulic press. With the point now snugly in the barrel, this dart is ready for its wings. They're made from polyester film, which first winds through printing rollers. Some print jobs involve just one basic color, while others layer many colors to build up a design. In the world of darts, the wings are known as flights. A machine cuts out the flight shapes, and they accumulate in big piles. Flights are made in various shapes. This is just one. They fold the cutouts together to make a flight. They check each one for symmetry, because an out-of-proportion flight could affect the game. Now it's time to screw the shaft to the barrel of the dart. They slide the polyester flight into cross slots on the end of the shaft. And this set of darts is now ready for its target market. It takes less than a minute to make a dart. Not long when you consider a good set of darts will provide you with an infinite amount of entertainment.